Well, greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Israel Hawkins coming to you from the house of Yahweh in Abilene, Texas, and this is the Prophetic Word Show. Prophecy shows that the Vatican, of course, they send the Pope to tell you these things. Uh, Vatican does, but the word Vatican means the divining serpent that leads the world. Uh, the uh, Revelation 13 shows this uh, beastly system, it's called, and Revelation 17 shows it sits on seven hills, uh, ruling the multitudes, nations, and tongues. Revelation 13 shows that all the world will worship this beast, uh, calls it a beastly system that that murders and and uh, beats down and rules by force and of course that was what was taking place for with the crusades for years and the great roman army that uh, uh, finally uh, they uh, they actually destroyed themselves with sickness and disease uh, coming from sodomy and stds stds coming from sodomy and and uh, creating that with with the death, uh, killing so many people, leaving them unburied, uh, they killing so many people that they didn't even bother to bury them anymore, and this caused what caused what it, they call the Black Plague, that wiped out a big majority of the Catholic cardinals, uh, the Vatican, and weakened weakened the. Uh, this was a a deadly blow, a deadly blow, but it took them down enough that they released the Bible, at least, uh, the King James Version, after they altered it somewhat by taking out the name Yahweh and Yahshua. Uh, I don't know if you realize it, but the book of Yahweh, Isaiah 34, 16, says there, search out the book of Yahweh and read. Well, of course, the King James Version says, book of the Lord. Uh, the reason it says book of the Lord is because they removed the name Yahweh and Yahshua. Yahshua is the Savior's name. Uh, Constantine gave uh, uh, the people the, uh, a new God to worship, he said. <laughs> and, of course, they passed the law that you had to worship God. And he gave them two names, uh, the names of two gods. He didn't even know that uh, uh, he was the Pope at that time. He was so unfamiliar with the Holy Scriptures, he didn't even know that these were two gods that they giving them. But anyway, that's where you get the word Jesus and Christ, uh, from the two gods that Constantine gave the people at that time. At that time, people were being slaughtered because they kept the Sabbath day, because they had a, a seventh day, a seven lamp lampstand, uh, because they kept the feast days or wore the holy garments, uh, they were being slaughtered by the billions. And of course, uh, some history says trillions. They killed trillions of people. But they, they destroyed the temple in 70 A.D. And uh, the, 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 what they called the temple, it was earlier called the house of Yahweh, but the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and Herodians. The Herodians was the one that owned the great Roman army. And of course, uh, the way it became great was it, it was a roving army that uh, was bought and paid for by the wealthy Herodians who, who used the army to obtain wealth. And uh, they sent this roving army out to capture uh, villages and take the uh, kill the ones they didn't want, take the ones they uh, did want, and they became part of their system. And this is how they built up their great Roman army in, in Babylon and in Rome. Uh, the, the Herodians owned also the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Essenes. That was the three religions, violent religions, along with the Roman army that took over the house of Yahweh in Jerusalem. Now, they, t they took the name out of the scriptures. They forbid anyone to use the name Yahweh because they didn't want people following Yahweh and his righteousness. They started get doing away with all forms of righteousness. But one commandment was do not commit adultery. 
And of course, that, that also, that word adultery there, it also uh, means sodomy. And uh, do not commit sodomy. That's man with man and, and uh, uh, woman with woman. And so they're going to do away with that commandment altogether. They'd already changed the Sabbath day uh, and uh, altered it. And of course, the Sabbath day, that's the fourth commandment. Uh, their, their fourth commandment is not that anymore. Uh, uh, the the, the uh, fourth commandment in their books after the changes were already made. They had already changed the laws of Yahweh as Daniel 7.25 showed. Uh, that was the fourth world ruling kingdom. And of course, uh, every scholar knows that was the great the Roman Empire uh, that, and, and that's all the, ro- the world ruling kingdoms that Yahweh shows. They're going to make another attempt, the Vatican is, uh, soon to rule the world again, to resurrect the Roman Empire, as the Pope says. Uh, that's what Benedict said we need to do is resurrect the Roman Empire. But this article uh, shows that the, uh, the Vatican is authorizing Pope Francis uh, to to be the uh, the uh, spokesman here. That's what the scripture shows that the Pope is. He's a spokesman. As Daniel says, it calls it the little horn, uh, meaning spoke, spokesman for this uh, great uh, fourth beast that Daniel says and uh, rises up with ten horns, and then a smaller horn, a little horn then, which is the eleventh horn, uh, comes up and, uh, and transplants, actually transplants three of these religions, pulls up by the roots and transplants them. This is where they made their great move to Rome and, uh, and destroyed the temple. That was in 70 A.D. They destroyed the, what they called the temple, which was earlier called the House of Yahweh. Now, before that temple was destroyed, the book of Yahweh was read. Isaiah 34, 16. Search out the book of Yahweh and read. The law stated that, it, that, that this book would be read every day in the temple or in the house of Yahweh. People came for miles around and they took their vacations in Jerusalem to hear that law read, to hear the laws of righteousness read and the prophecies that went with them. And all of this was written at that time. And, of course, book two wasn't added until the disciples wrote book two, that they, they changed that and called it the New Testament. But all of it was put, seen to and gathered by Yahweh and put together because Yahweh had made another prophecy showing that he would carry them beyond Babylon and of course Rome is beyond Babylon, and carry the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, every, the twelve tribes, he'd carry them away, Those who, all of those who rejected Yahweh's law and was still in office. That was the Levites, the uh, Korites that rose up against uh, Moshe, who was Moshe's cousins, and they called them uh, the Levites. And, and of course uh, uh, Yahweh chose them over... Uh, for, Instead of the firstborn, he started choosing, he chose the Levites to take over the so-called kingdom. And, uh, and, and of course they did. They took it by force. Uh, the, not, no longer was the priest of Yahweh uh, in leadership of the, uh, of, uh, the, the uh, house of Yahweh. Uh, uh, Jeremiah... Jeremiah, that's the King James Version, his name was Jeremiah, uh, 23 shows that, uh, that even in Yahweh's house they had spread their, uh, their filthiness and uh, their, their sodomy. In fact, verse 15 said they're all like Sodom and Gomorrah, meaning Sodomites. Well, that's what they're trying to spread throughout the earth today. And, um, and then um, the... Uh, I have an article here, uh, here it is, uh, hundreds of thousands rally in Rome against gay unions. Well, of course, this is after the Supreme Court 
uh, ruled like the Vatican told them to. You know, there's Catholics on the Supreme Court. They have a majority vote there, which is ruled, of course, by the Vatican. The Vatican meaning, the, <laughs> yes, this, this is what the actual word Vatican means. It means divining serpent. Well, you see the serpent over here in Genesis 3 has Yahweh indeed said. Genesis 3, but please write these scriptures down and read them later after I go off the air in the quietness of your home and see these things that I'm pointing out to you. It says, Now the serpent was more subtle and crafty than any of the beasts of the field. Beast, if you remember, uh, uh, is uh, Daniel. Uh, they refer to these kingdoms as beasts. More subtle than the beast of the field uh, that Yahweh had made. And she said to the woman, Has Yahweh indeed said? Well, of course, here is where she, this, this system or agency, uh, as the commentators say. If you read about the, read the commentaries, you'll see that they, they say that they do not understand this, that this is a, a great agency that actually brought this about. Who was it? They don't know, but it's called a serpent. Well, if you look over to Revelation 12, 9, we see it says the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, the old serpent, this Genesis 3 again, called the devil and Satan. So this is all one kingdom, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. So the authority was actually coming from this kingdom in heaven that was run by this great dragon. This the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So the devil that is worshipped there and 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 Satan and the serpent are all one. And this is the agency that the commentators speak of in Genesis, when speaking of Genesis, the third chapter that we see here, Genesis 3, uh, uh, they come to, to, to cause the people to turn against Yahweh and His righteousness. Has Yahweh indeed said... Yahweh. Well, of course, if you had a, a book of Yahweh instead of a King James Version, the book of Yahweh has the names of Yahweh, the true name Yahweh in it, uh, whereas the, the King James Version, the only, the only versions that the King, King James, would authorize, the only versions that the Vatican will allow King James to authorize, was Bibles or manuscripts that had the names removed. So when the King James Version was authorized to be printed and given to the people, it did not have the name Yahweh in it. It didn't have the name Yahshua. All of that was removed. The prophets' names that contain the name Yahweh was removed. They didn't want anyone to remember the name Yahweh. This was prophesied and it was worked on in Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, where Jeremiah uh, talks about, verse 1, he says, Woe to the pastors, the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep, that is, the twelve tribes of Israel. In verse 13, I have seen folly in the prophets uh, of Samaria. They prophesy by Baal. They prophesy by Baal. Now this is, this Baal means Lord or the Lord. And cause my people Israel to err, go astray. He says in verse 14, I have also seen in the prophets of Jerusalem the same horrible thing. They commit adultery. This word adultery here actually also means sodomy. And this is the reason the Vatican told the Supreme Court to pass the law, making it 
uh, look righteous or saying it's righteous to accept sodomite marriages. There's nothing right about it from because Yahweh is, uh, lays down in the Bible, in your Bible, the righteousness that you are to follow if you want eternal life. And of course, those who don't follow that righteousness will not receive eternal life. The Savior said, blessed, and that is in Revelations 22, 14, the Savior says, blessed are those that keep His, that is the Father's laws, that they may have right to the tree of life. You don't have any right to the tree of life without keeping those laws. They commit adultery. They walk in lies, Yahweh said. They also strengthen the hands of evildoers. Evil. Remember uh, Genesis. Let me show you again. Genesis uh, 3. Satan doing the speaking here. Verse 4. And the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. And she's telling her lies at that time, as, as the Savior said in, in uh, John 8.44. He says Satan was a liar from the beginning. She's the uh, inventor of lies. Well, uh, uh, in verse 5, Satan says, For he knows that in the day you eat, uh, your eyes will be open, and you will be as gods, as gods, as gods knowing righteousness and evil, and evil, notice, as gods knowing evil. So that's, that's what it's speaking of here. And, and he says he sees this evil. They also strengthen the hands of evildoers. That's God worshipers that practice following evil like the gods. They also strengthen the hands of evildoers so that no one turns back from their wickedness. They practice the, the evil of the gods, and, and these prophets strengthen them. They, they strengthen the hands of them by encouraging them to do so. In the Supreme Court, this is great encouragement for the people who are following the sin of sodomy. They also strengthen the hands of the evildoer, well, the Vatican says to the Supreme Court of America, pass this law and say it's okay to, to, mar to pretend that we're marrying these people. Well, of course, marriage, Yahweh laid the laws down for marriage between a man and a woman. And that's the only marriage. There is no marriage between men and men. The only marriage you will find is between a man and a woman. And it doesn't make any difference if every Supreme Court in the nation turns to Satan. That doesn't change the laws of Yahweh. Yahweh's laws remain the same. But uh, uh, let me read one more thing here, don't you? In verse 14, All of them are like Sodom to me, and her inhabitants are like Gomorrah. Therefore, this is what Yahweh of hosts says concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, this profaneness has gone out into all the land. This profaneness, speaking of sodomy. And now pass by the, by the, uh, by the Vatican, in America, call the Supreme Court. If you look over to Revelations, the last chapter of Revelations, very last chapter, we see the Savior speaking here. This is the last chapter, and starting with verse 12, the Savior has a message for you here. Now, know for sure that they're changing the laws. This is prophesied in Daniel 7.25. You can read it for yourself changing the Sabbath and the other appointments, the feast days, uh, and saying, no, you don't. Constantine says, no more keeping appointments with Yahweh. That's what he said when he changed the Sabbath day. Well, of course, now, what did he institute? Sunday, the first day of the week, the Sabbath, the fourth commandment, if you read it for yourself. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's the seventh day, the seventh day. 
Saturday is the seventh day of the week, not Sunday. Constantine was the one that changed that. And, and, and of course, uh, he can change it and make the people do it. But he, the Sabbath will never change. It will always be the same. Every seventh day, starting from the beginning, from the beginning, from the very beginning, Yahweh set this, and it will forever be so. And if you read Isaiah 66, the last part, you will see that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, after the bombs fall, after four-fifths of the earth's population is wiped out, we will still be keeping the Sabbath appointments with Yahweh. Yahweh's people will. Well, here in Revelations now, the last chapter, the Vatican is saying to the Pope, you got to change these Ten Commandments. You know, change the Ten Commandments. You have the authority to do so. Well, the authority, you want to see who the authority comes from? Let me show you quickly here in chapter 13. And I stood upon the sounds of the sea, and I saw this beast rise up out of the sea. In chapter 17, 15, that sea, those waters that you saw, is multitudes, nations, and tongues. Having seven heads, uh, those seven heads are seven hills where this great city, the Vatican, set. Seven hills, look up the seven hills of Rome and you will see what I'm talking about. Well, these is seven heads as, as uh, Revelation 17. Revelation 17 shows you what those seven heads mean in verses 7 and 9. Verse 7 of, of chapter 17 of Revelations, Revelations 17:7. 7, and the Moloch, the King James Version, says angel, but the, but the Moloch is messenger of Yahweh. Why are you astonished, he says? I will tell you the mystery of the woman. The woman is that great city that sits upon the seven hills. And it's verse 18. The woman whom you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth reigns over them. You just saw a great example of that in the Supreme Court. The Vatican passing the law saying sodomy is okay. Yes. <laughs> passing the law. Well, sodomy is not okay. It will never be okay. It's, a, it's condemned in uh, Leviticus 18, in Romans 1, and in, in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians by the Apostle Paul, as they call uh, Paul in the King James Version, uh, uh, 6, chapter 6, 1 Corinthians 6, start with verse 9. But the Moloch said to me, Why are you astonished? I will show you the mystery of this woman and the beast which carries her, which has seven heads, seven heads and ten horns. The ten horns are ten religions that, ten, that, they, that, that they allow to preach to preach and follow, and, I, and they allow all the gods. The word Catholic means universal, meaning they, they worship all God. Now, in verse 9, he says, Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven hills or mountains on which the woman sat. The woman is that great city that sits on the seven hills that reigns over the kings of the earth and brings forth abominations to the earth. Look at verse 5. And upon her head was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and the abominations of the earth. That's what she brings forth with her teachings of sodomy and saying to the Supreme Court, Tell the people it's okay to commit sodomy. Tell them that. And that's what the Supreme Court is teaching. It's teaching the, the Vatican, who means, which means, Vatican actually means divining serpent. The divining serpent. Well, the serpent is shown to you in chapter 1, I mean chapter 3 of Genesis. It's also shown to you in Revelations 12, 9, 
saying, This is the devil and Satan which deceives the whole earth. This is the agency in heaven that was cast out along with her angels cast out unto the earth, as Revelations 12.9 said. Well, here in the last chapter of Revelations, the Savior is speaking to you and says, Behold, verse 12, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work will be. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who keep his, that is, Yahweh's laws, or Yahweh's commandments. The King James Version says commandment. Blessed are those who keep Yahweh's commandments. Now, they took this word Yahweh out, of course. Blessed are those that keep his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. In verse 15, for outside are dogs, that word dogs there, it's not a four-legged dog. It means sodomite. Yes, outside they will not be able to have life. Their life, they're going to die the second death and there will be no life after that. Sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, worshipers of gods, worshipers of gods, and everyone who professes to love yet practices breaking the law. I, Yahshua, if you have a King James Version, it'll say, I, uh, Jesus Christ, I believe. That's the two gods that, that evolved from the names of the two gods that Constantine made it a law that everyone must worship. Constantine. We'll send you all this information free, this history. Be glad to send it to you. All you got to do is write, email, or call. I, I Yahshua, have sent my Moloch to testify to you these things in the congregations of the house of Yahweh only. That's where it's being told. Because Micah 4, 1 through 3 says, In the last days I will establish my house. Yahshua said in Matthew 24, that's the last generation. In the last days means this present generation that we're in right now, along with the invention of the nuclear bomb. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Uh, the Spirit says, Come, verse 18, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man will add to these things, Yahweh will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. Well, they're changing it, and here comes the plagues. Added to the Vatican. Uh, I'll show you. Verse chapter 18 shows that they're going to be burned. They're going to be caught up in their own nuclear war here very, very soon. And verse 19, And if any man will take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh will take away his part out of the book of life. Now, that includes the ones who follow them. You know, I know your preacher, your preachers are trying to assure you that it's, this is okay, but it's not okay. And, and, and that the keeping Sunday instead of the fourth day, if you break one law, James 2.10 says, if you break one of these commandments, you're guilty of breaking them all. If you keep Sunday instead of the Sabbath, if you keep all the rest of the laws, you're still not keeping your appointment with Yahweh, your seventh day appointment with Yahweh. You're breaking the laws and you have no right to the tree of life. You need to read that carefully for yourself. Until this next broadcast, may Yahweh bless your understanding.